Okay, everybody, welcome to another review here. Um, this is my second one for the day. And uh, today I decided I also wanted to try out the new Trend Micro Internet Security. Uh, this is, I just downloaded it last night. It's uh, 43.2 megabytes. Um, now, when you go and download it off the website, you actually download a small um, installer, and that does the main download. But you do get a download of the original installer on the desktop. So I just copied that to save some time and uh, it's going to do the install process right now so what I'm gonna do is because I want to keep these reviews to one video I'm gonna pause the video while it's installing and if anything important comes up I will unpause it to show you you know a setting or something that has to be changed so I'll be right back okay so trend micro internet security just finished installing uh, it was a pretty simple install you, all you have to do is uh, choose to install the trial if you want to try it out and then um, as the install completes you just have to provide an email address to get your 30-day uh, trial um, what I'm doing right now is I am just going to update the product so I am going to once again pause to update because it's got 74 megs to download here so it's going to take a little bit of time and uh, when this is done downloading I will be right back okay so trend micro got updated here uh, let's open up the main console here so you can see what it looks like I'm not gonna mess with any of the settings here you do have uh, different settings that you can change you got a firewall internet controls other settings and subscriptions and all sorts of stuff like that but I'm gonna leave everything just the way it comes from the factory. So let's get started with the scanning here, or uh, with the uh, with the links. I got rid of that top link that didn't work. Oops. Okay, that one got blocked by the web uh, security. That's good. Okay, that one bypassed that. We'll let that go. That one got blocked by web security. And that one got blocked too. This one might not be working. Okay, let's run this installer, see what happens. Instead of the rogue program, what it looks like to be a rogue program to me at least. Yep, that one's not working. Okay, so that did detect suspicious activity from that program. If you hit view, it says, uh, to safeguard your security, do not allow the following program to communicate with the internet unless you recognize it. So what we will do is we will block that. And it wants to communicate again. And we'll block it. Where were we at? We were there. Okay. Let's move on here. Okay, so this one uh, says uh, safeguard security. Do not allow the following program to communicate with the internet unless you recognize it. We don't recognize it, so we'll block it. And again, it'll ask me risk is suspicious, so we'll block it. Okay, that one got blocked by the uh, web scanner. looks like a very this is a really long long download I'm not sure what size it is but as you can see it's got a lot of stuff to download don't see anything from that one looks like this one's downloading just fine some exploits I think is what those are Okay, same thing again. 
suspicious activity, so we'll block it, and we'll block it again. And that one got blocked by the web scanner. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a full scan. I'm going to do a full system scan here. And uh, I'll let this scan, and I'll pause the video while it's scanning, and I'll be back after it's done. Okay, so it the scanning finished. Um, it found some cookies and a compressed file. And the rest of what I found were just updates that I don't want to install on uh, the Windows system I'm using here because I want to leave it as unprotected as possible. So now what I'm going to do is what I usually do. I got uh, malware bytes here, and I'm going to install it. Then I'm going to run a uh, quick scan with it to see if it finds anything. These uh, were the same links that I used in my Panda Cloud Antivirus. So uh, hopefully uh, Trend Micro here did uh, a little bit better, you would hope. Alright, so I'm going uh, to let the scan run here and I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so Malwarebytes just uh, finished scanning here. Said it found four things. Let's check it out and see what it found. And look at that. Everything that it found was in temporary internet files. Um, so I would say that uh, Trend Micro did a good job here. Now I know this is a rogue that probably nobody's detecting as of yet. It might be a rogue, it might not be a rogue. I'm not sure about it. Um, but. Uh, and this is just a link that you can easily delete. But I'm sure that uh, Malwarebytes would def or uh, Trend Micro would definitely protect you in case you ever um, had any trouble with anything. And like I said, a lot of these are zero-day um, malware links. So it did a very good job for being zero-day. I definitely would give um, Trend Micro here probably an eight, eight eight and a half out of ten um, not bad at all uh, let's see what it uses here for processes uh, that's one of its processes I know that and there's a decent amount of process usage so it's not light light but uh, I didn't notice any slowdowns really so um, there's no problems here with this product. I definitely uh, would recommend it if you're looking at buying a security product. And uh, that's my review for Trend Micro, and I will move on to one of my other ones. I'll talk to you guys later.